Hi, sturdy women. Hi, sturdy friends. I hope you're having a good week. I hope you're feeling good in your body. Today, I want to talk about medical testing for lipedema. No, <laughs> there is not yet a blood test that you can do that will tell you if you have lipedema, even though I think they're, they're probably working on one. Um, there are a lot of blood tests and other medical tests that you may benefit from doing to learn more about your body and better understand how to manage your symptoms. Today, I'm gonna to share a wonderful new resource that can guide you and your doctor in kind of deciding what tests might be appropriate for you. I'm also gonna tell you about my experience doing some additional deep lab testing over the last six months and how it even helped me figure out I had a gene mutation, the MTHFR, that could be impacting my lipedema. Remember, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm just a woman with lipedema. And I hope that by sharing my experience, I can help you start a conversation with your own care team about what's appropriate for you. So just as all of our bodies are unique, the lab testing that we're gonna to need to understand them is also unique. That's why I'm really excited to share a new resource, uh, an ebook that came out last year called A Guide to Medical Testing for Lipedema. It was written by Megan Pfeffer and Dr. Karen Herbs. Megan Pfeffer is a clinical nutritionist based in Australia who specializes in lipedema and has it herself. And then of course, Dr. Herbs, many of you know of as one of the most preeminent researchers on lipedema in the United States. I'm putting a link above and below in the description. Click it right now, open it, um, have it there in the background while you're listening to the video. I don't want you to miss out on this resource. It is currently free with a Kindle Unlimited subscription. And if you don't have one, no problem, because you can get a 30-day trial for free. That gives you plenty of time to read the book. Yes, it is a Kindle book, but don't worry, with the free Kindle app, you can read it on any device of your choice. The ebook is about 60 pages long and really is more than a book about medical testing. It's really a comprehensive one-stop shop for information about lipedema. Honestly, it would be a great resource to share with a doctor who may need to be educated about lipedema. It starts out with a background on what lipedema is, including symptoms and common treatments. It then goes into the different medical testing, including blood testing. The discussion on blood tests includes symptoms and other conditions that might make you consider having that test done. There are also tips for making sure that when you go, you get the most accurate results possible. And I really love that there is a decision tree to help you decide when is the right time for you to do blood testing and how often you may need to have it done again. Has this information been helpful so far? Click subscribe below to join our community and then click the little bell to get a notification each time I post a new video. Those of you who have been watching the channel for a while know that last year was really hard on me. Um, my symptoms started to flare up. I was swelling, my hair was falling out, I was gaining weight, I was exhausted all the time. Um, and I hadn't made any major lifestyle changes that would have explained this. I was still doing keto, I was still exercising. I thought I was mostly still staying to my plan. I realized I needed help. So I reached out to a nutritionist and she recommended I go and get some lab tests done. I'm gonna put up on the screen, I know a lot of you are gonna ask, these are the tests that I had done, but remember these are tests that she recommended for me based on my um, symptoms and my medical history. The ones you need may be different, so make sure that you work with your care team. I requested these when I went to my doctor for my annual physical and he and I initially had a little bit of back and forth because he insisted it was going to be very expensive for me. I used a tool on my health insurance website. However, every insurance I've ever had has had this tool where it will help you estimate the cost for a specific service, sometimes even at a specific doctor. Um, and I felt really confident that it wasn't going to cost me a lot of money, so I pushed it back on him, and I'm really glad that it did. Um, I had all of these tests done, and it cost me absolutely nothing, zero out of pocket. 
Um, when I had them redone six months later with a different insurance, it was the same thing. I can't promise that will be the case for you, but that's what happened for me with Cigna and then also with Care First through Blue Cross Blue Shield. My results were mostly good, um, except in the long list of extra tests that I had requested, there were two that needed some extra attention. One of those was vitamin D. My vitamin D was low, and you can read in the ebook why that matters for lipedema patients. That was a simple fix. I just started taking a D supplement. The other one that was out of range was my homocysteine. I didn't really know what that meant, and when I asked my doctor, he just kind of dismissed it and said it didn't matter. However, when I took it to my nutritionist, she said, I think you might have a gene mutation. She told me about something called MTHFR, which impacts your body's ability to process and absorb B vitamins. This is a genetic condition. So I've had it my entire life. And this felt a little bit like learning about lipedema all over again. You mean I've had these nutrient deficiencies probably my entire life and we are just now discovering it? Sounds right at this point, right? So the complicated thing about this is that I'd had my B vitamins tested and they weren't amazing, but they showed as fine. Well, the tricky thing is with the MTHFR gene mutation, your body can hold on to forms of these B vitamins that it can't actually process. So you will show as having enough, even though your body is just stockpiling things it can't use. So MTHFR can lead to these deficiencies in B vitamins, which in turn inhibit the body's ability to detox, balance hormones, and even properly run the immune system. What does that have to do with lipedema? Well, you can read more about it in the section on B vitamins in the ebook, but some of you may be going ding, 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 ding. Lipedema has something to do with inflammation and toxins in the body. It has something to do with hormones. Our lymphatic system is part of our immune system. This all seems like it might have something to do with it, right? Now I do wanna be really clear, not everyone who has lipedema has the MTHFR gene mutation. And everyone who has the MTHFR gene mutation does not necessarily have lipedema. There's limited research that's been done on it. I will put an Italian study below in the description. You can read more about it on your own, but I just wanna be really clear about that. Symptoms of MTHFR can include fatigue, chronic pain, inflammation, brain fog, and even anxiety. How do you know if you have MTHFR? You get tested for it. You can either go to your doctor and ask for this, or you can do an at-home test, which is what I did. I ordered one from MTHFR doctors from Amazon. Um, I'll put the link above and below for you. I was really pleased with them. They sent me a kit. I did a cheek swab, mailed it back, and got my results, my you know detailed results. Um, about a week later in my email and it also included detailed information about supplement recommendations. I took the results to my nutritionist and discussed them with her, but if you don't have someone like that to turn to, they do for an additional fee, offer consultations, um, and I just thought their customer service was great. There was a small typo in my results and they called me about it on a Saturday just to make sure that I had all the correct information. Based on my results and my body's needs, these are the B vitamins that I started taking. Um, I started on this one about six months ago, and I started on this one maybe a month ago. Um, remember, these were prescribed for me based on my test results and my specific needs. Work with someone to figure out what is right for you. But I do wanna say I noticed a difference literally an hour after I switched. Like it was noticeable. I had more energy. I noticed I had more appetite. Um, I've always heard people say B vitamins make them hungry and I've never experienced that <laughs> until I started taking these. 
finding out about the gene mutation has been really helpful for my journey. It wasn't the only puzzle piece that I needed. There was additional work that I did with my nutritionist, additional changes I've made around food sensitivities, around the number of carbs that I eat, and all of those things together have really helped improve my health over the last six months. Um, so medical testing, any kind of gene mutations, things like that um, can be really helpful, but they're just one piece of the puzzle. So make sure that you're working with a broad team and really addressing the different things that could be impacting your symptoms. How has medical testing helped you better understand your lipedema body and how to take care of yourself? Let us know below in the comments. Everyone benefits from hearing other people's experience. If you have questions, post them below and let's see if we can get you some help. For more about me and my journey with lipedema, lymphedema, venous insufficiency, and how keto helped me lose more than 140 pounds, dramatically improve my symptoms, head over to sturdywoman.com. I'd love to see you there. I'll see you next time.